energy and global resources. In this video, we'll cover what is meant by energy, what forms does energy have, and what are the known global resources of energy. This image, which is actually a composite of hundreds of images taken by orbiting satellites, depicts the use of artificial light at night. It was taken on November 27, 2000. This is just one illustration of how modern societies depend on using rather large quantities of energy in their daily use. Something to consider, how is population, technology, affluence, and consumption represented in this figure? How do we have access to this energy, and what is the global impact on societies and the environment? This image represents the different types of energetic forces that we encounter on Earth. It is just one model for categorizing energy. The term energetic forces simply indicates that one is able to capture and do work in the physical world with the energy supplied by the force. Scientists have a rather circular definition of energy, but we scientists don't exactly know what it is besides saying it is something that enables us to do work, and work for us means applying a force over a distance. The models of energy types. On this image you see there's something called mysterious. Uh, these are observed forces whose origin is not exactly understood. The strong force is the mysterious force that holds the nuclei of atoms together. For what we know of electrostatic forces, we would expect the particles in a nucleus to repel one another. However, there is some mysterious strong force that holds the nucleus together. Breaking that force results in a great deal of energy that is given off in nuclear fission. Gravity is also an observed force whose origins are not exactly known. It may be that the force of gravity is related to what is called the strong force. Nuclear. This type of energy is released when the nucleus of atoms is altered. Perhaps this force can be categorized with the strong force. Electromagnetic. Oscillating and magnetic fields work together to propagate through space and through matter. They are also a source of energetic forces. Mechanical. This type of energy, whether it is created by temperature gradients or otherwise, enables us to move matter around. Gravity could be considered a kind of mechanical force as well. Chemical. Chemical forces are those that are stored in the bonding of matter, such as the covalent bonds of sugar molecules and fruit. This type of energy is released by breaking bonds, which involves the valence electrons that are on the outside of an atom. This is different from nuclear energy, which resides in the center nucleus of atoms. Chemical bonding energy is at the periphery of atoms and between atoms, because chemical bonding involves the outer electron shells of atoms. Let's think of an energy source versus an energy resource. A resource is a reservoir or a stock of energy. It is not an energy source itself. It is a resource. Energy has been stored in it by a source. For example, fossil fuels represent an energy resource. The chemical energy of fossil fuels was stored in it ultimately by the action of the sun, which grew the plants that originally decayed to form fossil fuels. This may be more clear if one thinks about hydrogen gas. Is it an energy source or is it an energy resource? This graphic depicts the four known stable energy reservoirs or resources on Earth and their replenishment timescales. As you can see, there's a log scale on the left with seconds and on the right is a scale that refers more to a historical timescale. So the four stable resources are terrestrial nuclear, which is essentially the radioactive material that was formed when the Earth was formed. There's Earth thermal energy, which comes in an expression of geothermal energy. Celestial bodies, which comes in the form of tidal energy. And solar nuclear energy, which has a number of expressions. One is incoming solar radiation, which is replenished on the order of milliseconds. 
wind and wave energy, which takes hours or days to replenish, precipitation and biomass, which is which takes more like months and years to uh, replenish. And then fossil fuels, you can see, is uh, suspected to replenish on the order of millennia, although it's, it's hard to actually know if it's possible to replenish that. And then ocean thermal energy, which is something that uh, is replenished on the order of centuries. Again, um, not really something we know, but something we are conjecturing in a sense. So these are the four stable resources known on Earth. While we don't know exactly what energy is, we do know that it can be harnessed to do work. Energy comes in many forms, including nuclear, electromagnetic, chemical, and mechanical. There are four known stable energy resources on Earth, each with different timescales for replenishment. Of the four resources, solar nuclear provides the shortest timescale of renewing, with solar radiation renewing on the order of milliseconds. In the next video, we'll review the relative magnitudes of global energy resources.